Okay, welcome. This is Sin Vander. Uh, and in this little clip, I will talk you through the uh, the mission generator that I created for IL2 Great Battles. Um, you're now looking at the main screen. It should look like this when you've just installed the uh, the application. Uh, installing it is pretty easy. You just download and unzip to a folder and run the executable. Uh, one thing to do before you can start is you have to set the IL2 main folder, which is this button over here. Click it and then go to your IL2 Storm of a Great Battles folder. Select folder. And now we're set to go. Um, the other option you have here is to change the mission name. If you want to, uh, of course, use your own name for your mission. And the third one is you can set a mission folder. This is optional. And you have to know what you're doing here, because if you are uh, setting the folder name as well, then you have to make sure that you are using the correct folder. So single missions go into the missions folder, and co-op and dogfight missions go into a multiplayer slash cooperative or slash dogfight folder. So best to uh, not use this unless you know what you're doing. This button is just to save the configuration, and this button is to create the mission. But we'll wait. With that until we have a configuration okay the next tab is the situation tab here you can choose uh, a map and you can set various uh, global stuff like like uh, weather time of day date etc um, so basically all the maps uh, unless the smaller test ones are supported uh, in the app RS channel uh, etc you can just click through them and you'll see the map change and every map has a number of airfields that you can can click you can select to uh, if you want to select where you want to start your mission so let's go with Filiki Luki which is a very nice uh, map um, although maybe this is not the best example because every map also has uh, one or more fronts so if I go to for instance Rhineland and you'll see I have created like one, two, three, four, five different fronts. And every front is yeah, depicting a certain stage in the battle. So this is, for, for instance, this is August, September. Then we move to October. And it's, yeah, uh, it sort of represents the actual front lines uh, of that uh, era. And you also see the, uh, of course, the airfields uh, change. Selecting an airfield is just it's just clicking on the button, like I said. You can also do a uh, randomize, and then you will be yeah, it, it'll be a surprise where you are going to uh, to start. You can set the date. The date uh, doesn't do much for the mission. It just uh, it is a way to set the uh, the season. So if you have it like this, uh, August eight, then uh, you'll be in the summer season. If you would do 12 then you'll be winter and this map supports uh, a winter season so then you'll see snow okay some options here are uh, the clouds the wind time of day this is yeah, very easy to to select you don't have to put in any any numbers uh, this will always get you uh, independent of the date for instance noon or dawn or, or uh, late afternoon etc some settings for rain and snow Haze uh, is quite recommended if you want to get rid of the jaggies at the, uh, on the horizon. And there's some couple of features here. Enemy targets on map. If you select this, then you will also see the objectives of the enemy. It's usually not, not useful, except when you have a multiplayer mission. And the forward air start, again, this is only for multiplayer, dogfight mode. Then you can create an, an, an extra uh, airfield, an air spawn airfield near the front. You won't see it now in the map, but you, you'll see it when the mission is uh, generated. Okay, that was the first step, the situation tab. Then we go to the, uh, the most important one, I think, the scenario. And here you can configure your mission. So what type, what kind of planes, etc. So we have to start with the game type. We have three game types in IL-2. Single, well, it's obvious. You fly alone with AI. You have cooperative. You can fly alone as well with AI, but you can also fly with other people, or you can even fly uh, against other people because you'll just uh, the, the game will start differently. You'll start in the lobby, and you can pick your planes, 
and then start a mission. But the mission logic is exactly the same as in single player uh, mission. So when you select cooperative, you have option to go either allied, axis, or both. And then you'll see in the lobby that you can select both sides. Last one is the dogfight game type. This is also multiplayer, and this is where you can uh, spawn in uh, the map anytime you, you choose. So while co cooperative has a lobby, where you have to wait until everyone is finished and has taken a, uh, a slot. In Dogfight, you don't have to wait. You can just uh, spawn in and uh, on an airfield and you can fly. Other than that, the yeah, basically the, the mission generation is the same. So you get the same sort of uh, objectives, the same AI behavior and the same um, flight plans. Okay, let's have a look at the other options here on the top. We have um, object difficulty, easy, normal, hard. This is this tells you how to yeah, how difficult it is to, to destroy a target normally. So it 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 changes the number of uh, objects you have to destroy to get the uh, objective. Well, player side I already mentioned. Player position. This is only valid for single player. In single player, you can also choose where do you want to be in the flight. Do you want to lead the flight? Do you want to be the wingman? Or do you want to be uh, the last one in the flight? Then on the right, we have here uh, some options for uh, ambient AI, the number of vehicles, a few, several, many. This is um, yeah. This also impacts your your yeah the the performance of the mission. If you have a good CPU, etc., then you can set it uh, to many. Shouldn't be shouldn't be a problem, but you might want to uh, to tune it. The same for the number of AI aircraft. This number is the total number of AI aircraft of extra AI aircraft. So not counting the ones that we are going to see later here in this in this section. This, this will just be ambient AI flying around doing their own thing. If you don't want them, you can just set it to zero. And then you only have you only encounter the, the planes that you configure uh, in these flights. Otherwise, you'll, uh, if, if you would say select 10, then you would have like five AI planes per side. And they can be in several flights. Now, then the AI activity, passive, neutral, aggressive. This is uh, how they interact. So if you set them to passive, they will mostly do their own thing and they will not be very interested in, in what the other, yeah, what the players are doing. If you set them to aggressive, then they'll, you have a high, uh, higher chance of actually uh, meeting them and they will uh, attack you. Okay, and the next section is two, sec two sections, but this is basically the same, which is just for each side, for allies um, and for the exercise. Um, well, here we see the uh, configuration for a flight. We have two flights, blue flight, which is always the primary flight and red flight, which is always the escort flight. So no matter what you choose here on uh, uh, on scenario type, you'll always have, you can, you can always have uh, an escort flight with you. Okay, let's see how it works. First, you can select country. This depends a little bit on the map you've chosen. In this case, um, yeah, I think we're still in Rhineland. Yeah, so in this case, you have the options to have to fly for Great Britain only. Uh, US. I also added USSR. I don't know why, just for fun, I guess, just so you can you can experiment. The scenario. This is of course the basic scenario that you'll be uh, uh, yeah generating in your mission. And we have the following. Intercept is that you fly with fighter planes. So if you click on this, then you'll see in the primary flight, blue flight, you can only select fighter planes. Of course, that's of course part of your mission is to intercept enemy planes. You can still have a escort flight of fighters as well. If you go uh, bombing, then you'll see here uh, the typical uh, bombers, and these are the level bombers. So bombing is is level bombing, usually from from altitude. If you go to let's uh, try attack, it's basically the same as bombing, but now you can also choose uh, fighter bombers, and this is more the 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 dive bombing uh, attacks that they will use. So this is more for ground ground attack scenarios. And of course, for each scenario, you can always have a, an escort flight. 